Hello, my name is Kristen Weidel. Here is my ID for verification. Um, today, I will be talking about MHC molecules and how they present antigens to our cells. So to begin, we have MHC class two and MHC class one. Um, to start, we'll start with um, MHC class two. And MHC class two molecules can be found on cells like B lymphocytes, macrophages, and other uh, professional antigen presenting cells. Um, and they will, MHC class two cells will present their antigens to T helper cells and T regulatory cells. Before it can present um, those antigens to those cells, it has to go through what we call the endocytic pathway. And the endocytic pathway with MHC class two molecules deals primarily with exogenous antigens show, as shown here. So we can see that this antigen is phagocytized by the antigen presenting cell, like a macrophage, and it will form its own vesicle in the cell and that within that vesicle, it will break down into smaller peptides. Um, from there, that vesicle will join with the, a vesicle containing the MHC class II molecule where the e peptides will embed itself onto the MHC class II molecule. That complex will travel through the cell and embed itself onto the antigen presenting cell's membrane. From there, it can present its antigen to T helper cells and T regulatory cells. But before it can have a full signal transduction in the T helper cells, we have something called a co-receptor on those T helper cells. Um, and for T helper cells, it is called CD4. And CD4 will bind to the beta 2 subunit on that MHC, mole MHC class 2 molecule to fully um, transduct that antigen signal through the cell. So next we have MHC class one, and MHC class one molecules can be found on any um, somatic cell, any nucleated cell, except for obviously red blood cells that have no nucleus and spermatozoa. And um, MHC class one molecules will present their antigens to cytotoxic T cells. Um, and obviously before they can present those antigens, they go through a pathway as well. And we call this the cytosolic pathway. Um, the MHC class II molecules will um, break down any antigen, like any intracellular antigen, and these could be normal endogenous proteins, um, viruses, or bacteria. So as we can see here, we have this intracellular protein that is broken down through the proteasome into smaller peptides. And then these smaller peptides will go through the transporter associated with antigen presenting, also known as TAP, T-A-P, um, to go from the cytosol into the endoplasmic reticulum where it joins up with an MHC class one molecule and embeds itself into the um, cell's membrane and then from there, it can present the antigen to cytotoxic T cells, and same with T, as T helper cells, cytotoxic T cells have um, CD8 as their co-receptor, where it binds to alpha-3 on the MHC molecule to fully get that um, antigen signal through the cell. And that concludes this presentation.